In this video, we're going to take a look at a couple of really cool knives from the German knife shop. I'm talking about the Hubertus Solingen Switchblades. <laughs> That's what's coming up next here on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose, your home for information and gear reviews related to camping, survival, and general preparedness for regular folks. My name's Brian. Thanks for joining me. So, not too long ago, some folks at the German Knife Shop contacted me and asked me if I'd be interested in taking a look at, at a couple of their knives and kind of helping them get the word out about the German Knife Shop to the folks over here in the good old USA. So I took a look at their website and my eyes were immediately drawn to the uh, switchblade section, the Hubertus Springer. And this is, uh, let me just give you a quick, quick glimpse of that. Just check this out. Oh yeah. <laughs> so um, these things are made in Solingen, Germany, and they are old school cool. So um, instead of me rambling on about it, let me just take you down to the old stump top, give you some close-ups of these things and show you how they work. And we'll talk a little bit about them because they are pretty stinking cool. I think you're going to like them. I know I do. Okay, so here we got a couple of knives here from Hubertus Solingen. I'm probably not pronouncing that correctly, but, um, and these are, they're, they're lever lock Springer design knives. So let me tell you a little bit about Hubertus. First of all, Hubertus Solingen has been around since 1932, and they are one of the last remaining lever lock knife manufacturers, switchblade manufacturers. Um, they, these knives are available in multiple configurations, starting at about $160, $170, going on up as high as you want to spend, but pretty cool here so um, I just thought they were really cool because I still got enough kid left in me to really like switchblades and think they're really cool so they're available with um, stag horns buffalo horn ebony micarta or rosewood handles and probably some other ones also but that's the main handle materials um, so first we'll take a look at the uh, this one this is a special edition and is it is a Hubertus special pocket knife for Damascus version. There's only 300 of these made. It's a limited edition. Let me show you how this thing works. So, so basically you've got this lever lock right here and you um, pop that over and it opens up there. And this one you can, let me see if you can get a close up of that blade there get the focus on it. Focus, camera focus. It's got like layers upon layer of steel. This is true Damascus steel, um, Japanese steel. There's a certificate of authenticity with this knife. It is VG10 Suma, VG10 laminate Suminagashi steel, 67 layers. Really cool there. That features a 3.35 inch or 8.5 centimeter blade, kind of a spear point, with a 7.68 inch overall length. It weighs about 5.6 ounces or 160 grams. This one has staghorn handles. The price on this one, now this is, a, again, there's a limited edition, they only made 300 of these, it's about 263 bucks, so not a cheap knife, but very, very, very cool knife, and then you just, to, this, the lever also functions as a lock, so to unlock it, you just push it down and close it, and um, show you how this thing works a little bit, the, uh, it's got this back spring here, if you can see that, and this lever, what the lever does, it pushes that spring down and it releases the blade. And when it does, let's open it up here and show you. Pops open. You can see the spring inside there. Maybe you can see it kind of inside there that pushes the blade. You can see it on the other one a little better. Uh, I'll show you that now. So that's the uh, Damascus one. So down towards the uh, lower end of the price range for these knives anyway, this one's at $169. And it is a special pocket knife slim with it's got linen micarta handles on it. Um, same basic deal as the lever lock and just open it up. So you can see the difference in these two blades. Pretty big difference there. I kind of think the slim one is really cool. It reminds me of a, honestly, um, I think about West Side Story when I see this. So, but it works really well. But you can also see the spring a little better in this one. You can see it's kind of, it's heat treated on the end there, almost out of the, out of the channel. Um, and these things are essentially semi-handmade. They're hand-assembled, and, and I mean, it's, it's, it's old-school craftsmanship. So, you know, it's not like they're made on an assembly line. And just really cool there. The spring on these things is really great, though. I mean, they just absolutely open up. Now, I'll be honest with you. This one, I had to. It was pretty stinking dull. 
uh, when I got it. I mean, it wasn't any, it wasn't shaving sharp. I've, I've kind of got this thing now where it'll shave. Um, just a little bit of work on my um, Easy Lap Diamond Stone, but man, it's just really, really cool. This is slim enough to fit in your pocket and pretty, pretty well easily, and just man, they just it's really neat the way they work. And you can do them with one hand. Closing them is a little bit harder with one hand. You really gotta, but you can do it. And there you go. So that is the Hubertus Solingen. They call these the Springers, actually. Uh, I call them switchblades, but they call them Springers. So uh, there you go. Okay, well that was a hopefully not too rambling look at the uh, Hubertus Springer. Um, switchblade, automatic, whatever you want to call them. I like switchblade, works for me. The uh, knives from the folks at the German knife shop. And again, they were kind enough to send me these so I could show them to you. You kind of introduced them to the to, to the viewers of this channel. And they are one of the last manufacturers, this style knife, uh, left in the world, right there in Solingen, Germany. So um, just quality old world craftsmanship, pretty cool stuff. And um, if, if, you're, if you're a knife collector, you just like cool stuff, uh, and you don't mind splurging every now and then, this might be a pretty cool knife for you, these different ones. Again, anywhere from 169 to, um, gosh, they go to three or $400 for some of these. This one's about in the, in the, in the mid to high range for, the, for, for those knives anyway. So I'll put a link in the description below and a link right up here if I can, where you can go check them out for yourself and see what all they have to offer. Got some pretty cool knives. They also have fixed blades. I mean, they have a wide variety of really cool knives at the German knife shop and they will ship them definitely to the US. So uh, hopefully this has been helpful. Once again, thanks to the folks at the German Knife Shop for sending me these so I can show them to you. And as always, thank you for watching Survival on Purpose. I put out a new video every Friday and every Saturday and occasionally random videos throughout the week. There's another one right there. And if you're not subscribed, you can click right down the corner. Be sure and click that little bell notification so you don't miss a single video. I really appreciate the support. Once again, my name is Brian. You're watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival is not an accident. So be prepared. I'll see you next time. <laughs>